Ten and a half months later, a Richmond mom tells us her son's killer has been captured. But she says, surprisingly, she's learned from the arrest that her son grew up with the accused murder suspect. Kenneth Cooper was shot to death in an alley off Haynes Avenue last April, and since his life was taken, his mom... There's no winners in this situation right here. Laverne McMullen... Both sides lose, one deceased and one incarcerated. ...has been trying to give back to the same streets that claimed Kenneth's life. It's a fascist disease out here that's occurring in our city. We have to handle it delicately, but very quick, and it called killing, murdering other people's children with no cause, no respect for life. Cooper was killed April 5th, 2022. The man behind bars accused of first degree murder is Sequan Pittman. Pittman and Cooper both grew up together, according to McMullen. Court records show Pittman has a rap sheet of violence and traffic offenses. Bring closure to me for the simple fact I wanted my son's case to be resolved, but I feel bad for him as well. I'm not one of them parents that want to downgrade him or put him down, make him but I am one of them parents that believe in justice. McMullen adding that justice, she hopes, will come twofold. Time behind bars for the accused and a spark of support from a community she hopes to help. It's an uplifting feeling, and I'm going to give back to the community much as I can through me and through Kenneth Cooper. McMullen saying the Kenneth Cooper Foundation website should go hot pretty soon and that her focus is on the impoverished communities and those that are homeless.